Oh my gosh, what is this? $24.49. <laughs> He's so soft, I can't even move him. All right, well today we are back in Maryland. We are at the Goodwill. Um, it's a little bit of a rough day for me, I'll be honest. If I seem a little distracted, um, today is a day. <laughs> Uh, so right about now, my dad is getting quadruple bypass surgery, and I needed a little bit of a distraction. So we are at Goodwill, and we are about to head in and do a little shopping and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, so we're going to start right here in figurines. Um, there's really nobody here today. <laughs> a few employees, but otherwise it's basically empty. Just the way I like it. Um, so let's see what we can find. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. These little figurines. There's a fish. Normally I don't pick these up. These don't have a very high resale value. They actually don't even have prices on them. And no numbers. Or I'm sorry, letters. Usually the letters indicate. Hey! How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, usually the letters indicate a price, but I don't even see the letters on there, so I don't know what's going on there. I, I considered, you know, I might grab those for giveaways. That's what we'll do with those, because those are just so cute. Grab those for whatnot giveaways. There's a nice stack of plates there. Those are saucers, it looks like, but no cups to go with them. But speaking of cups, here's some Fiesta, I think. Tom and Jerry style candle, right? Maybe? You Fiesta experts could tell me. I think there's a Fiesta mark on there, right? Maybe not. Maybe that says something different. I'm having a hard time reading it. I don't think that says Fiesta on the bottom. I swear that's what it is. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I just have a hard time selling it. So I think I'm going to leave it behind. You guys in the comments are going to be like, that's a rare color. That's the rarest of all the colors. And you left it behind. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not really seeing anything very exciting there. There's a bird. There's a fun colored fish. Williamsburg reproduction. Um, that's a fun mug. $6.49. Marigold Carnival. Um, that's Avon Cape Cod. It's a canter. A little wobbly. I heard that my local Goodwill actually converted and now to these black shelves. I haven't been there since they've done that. It was while I was in New York. Um, but here in a few days, I'm going to be probably heading that direction. And I'll get to see them for myself. <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to that. I always loved my local Goodwill because they had the white shelves. And I didn't have to worry about stuff falling between the cracks. But they uh, went the way of the, the black shelves. So... That's probably made in India. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that is so neat. I really like that. $44.79. Oh my gosh. That is so neat. I I have no use for it. <laughs> oh, would fall right out of that, but that is so cool. And I, uh, I don't know how I'm going to leave it. Vases and planners. See a creamer there. Looks like it might have some age, but I don't think I want a single creamer for $3.50. Maybe if we find a sugar bowl to go with it, maybe I'll consider it. That's art pottery. I'm trying to get rid of some of the art pottery I have. Try to be a little bit more picky on my art pottery. What is this? Is that? It looks like um, 
Is that Canadian pottery? Why am I drawing a blank? <laughs> Blue Mountain Pottery. It looks like they're glaze. But there's also a marking on the bottom that makes me think maybe it's a hobbyist glazed piece. I'm not sure. I like that. I'm a sucker for pine cone candle holders. I'm not really sure why. Is there only one? I think there's only one. I only see one. $6.49. I have to remember to check down here on the bottom shelves. Looks like a Dorothy Thorpe. Hmm. See anything else though? We've got two little pieces in here that I intend to use as giveaways. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. I love the color on that. $6.49, California. California pottery. I'll take that. All right, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Um, you guys know this is one of my favorite. One of my favorite shelves, and over here, look at this. Oh, that's $14.49. It's all dressed, so I might pick it up anyway, just because it's all dressed. Got a cute little piggy on it. Here, that's kind of a fun cookie jar. I think there's a pottery version of this. Five dollars and forty-nine cents. <laughs> the glass version with the gingerbread. I don't know, I'll grab that. As you guys know, I do well with these in my booth. They're a really good seller. I mean, I don't price them super high. I price them reasonable. And they move. Um, which, who makes this? <laughs> I'm having trouble today. And I think it's just because I've got a lot on my mind. Um, $5.49. And I know this one. Oh, there's a crack, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it behind anyway as I smack it off of that. Which one is this? Hmm. There's no markings on it, so I feel like this is probably just one of those off-brand enamel pots, right? Probably. I mean, there is some chipping on the enamel. I do like the color of it, and it's not terrible, but I have one in that size, so I'm not going to grab it. Right, well, I'm going to move on over here to the holiday. Um, as you can see, the Christmas is now getting mixed in with the Halloween. So we're going to look through this, see if anything jumps out at us, and then we're going to move on to the next Goodwill. So this is kind of neat. This looks like a fiber optic thing of some sort. <laughs> but, um, Halloween is still a little bit away, so I mean, if there's nothing like... I have to have I'm probably just gonna keep on moving and go check out and I'll see you guys in the car all right let's circle around all right nothing crazy <laughs> some nice decorative pieces that I might consider for my own decor but I gotta go through all the Halloween stuff I have and then go from there before I start picking up more stuff all right, well our total spend here at this Goodwill was $24. I ended up leaving behind uh, the California Pottery Divided Dish because after he rang it up and set it back down, he had turned it and I noticed that there was a giant crack that had been repaired. Um, and it just wasn't worth it to me. So I left that behind, but I got everything else. The little uh, shell figurines ended up being 99 cents each. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the next Goodwill. All right, well this place is all empty. <laughs> so that's pretty great. I guess there's a few people back here, but it's also very loud. So I'm gonna talk fast. I might edit a little choppy. You guys are just gonna have to bear with me. My goodness, look at this cute little weirdo right here. <laughs> Mama is adorable. <laughs> We've got a polar bear. 
Um, I think that's supposed to look like wood, but I suspect it's made of resin. And it is missing an ear, so that's not going to work for us. Uh, there's a martini looking thing. What is this in the back? That is Daisy's jap. I think it's supposed to say jar. <laughs> Daisy's jar. <laughs> made in China, possibly. Kind of like the looks of that. It's signed on the bottom. $4.49. That's okay. I don't know. I think I'm going to be a little picky today and I'm going to leave that behind. Joseph here has got some dark soulless eyes. I'm not really sure I'm here for that. And then we have somebody's bell collection. Bell collections seem to always be donated to Goodwill. I find lots of bell collections donated to Goodwill. This looks like a Mikasa, Mikasa piece here. Or maybe not. Handmade something something glass. Czech Republic. I have a few of these that actually are Mikasa. And they sell for about 18 bucks on eBay. But I would never want to ship one of those. So I put mine in my booth. Here are some of those cats. <laughs> I say some of those cats because I don't know who makes them. I think these are 1990s or 1980s. There are two of them. $3.49. Um, these might actually do all right on my booth, so I think I'm going to grab both of them. $3.49 each. So we'll pick those up. This is fantastic. I don't think there's much resale value there, but I like them. <laughs> He's kind of great. There is the base to a fairy light. I'll definitely pick that up because you never know when you're going to need one. We've learned that before. I'm always picking up the base and the lids. And then, eventually, I can piece them together. This place is really um, sparse today. It's kind of like, there's not much here. I don't know how long we're going to be hanging out because I'm not really finding much. And there's really not much on the shelves. It's not that I'm not finding much. There's just really not much here. Oh, here. Check this guy out. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> $3.49 at the bank. Um, looks like a panda with a baby. I'll pick that up. Brass. I feel like brass is still a thing, right? So we'll grab that. But you can see here, I've been here a zillion times before. You know what it usually looks like. Um, and it's not even really tidied up. It's just empty. There's not, there's not much here. There is another fairy light base. So I'm going to grab that as well. I would really love to find the tops to them. But I don't know, I've circled around. This is like the glass section and I thought, you know, maybe they're here somewhere. <laughs> but I'm not seeing anything. So, bummer. I wanna check out this picture in the back because that kind of has an interesting pattern to it. Let's see, yeah, uh, it's all chipped up. It's all chipped up. Catoctin Potter. That's a Maryland Potter. All right, well, I'm gonna head up towards the holiday stuff and give that a quick peek. Um, but I think that's all we're gonna get here today. And now I know why it was so empty with people. It's because it's empty with stuff. And um, I was thinking about those fairy lights, and you know what, I'm like, well, maybe they have a Christmas top. And maybe the Christmas top is hanging out back here somewhere. So we'll give it a peek. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, gotta be careful though. Uh, I think it was last year I found a whole stack of spode plates, so that was kind of exciting. We'll poke around and see what we can find. Here is a spode Christmas tree nut bowl. Looks like he's in there. I hope he's not broken. I mean, he's still in the styrofoam. Um, somebody opened him up and decided not to grab him. Um, he's a more contemporary spode. $6.49. I'll grab that. Oh, what else do we have here? Lots of Ray John. Naughty. Deck the halls. All those things. I'm not seeing any uh, fairy light toppers though, so I think we're just going to have a few extras until we come across the, the toppers. And that's alright. All right, on that note, I'm going to get out of here, and guess what? <laughs> I'll see you at the next Goodwill. All right, 
Well, we didn't have much better luck at that Goodwill, but we got a few things. Um, my total spend there was $23. And I got those two cats for the booth. Um, and also the fairy light bases, which I'll just stick in my extras. I keep some pieces and parts to things, and I'll hold on to those until I find some toppers. Um, so they'll hang around, and um, the little bank will probably go up on eBay or whatnot. And um, I got one more thing, but I don't remember what it was. Um, oh, the spode. So that might go in my booth as well. So today, that, that trip was kind of like a booth trip. But that's all right. Um, we're going to make money on it. I think one of the cats might even pay for the whole haul. Um, but we're going to get out of here. I'm going to head on down the road to the next Goodwill. And I guess we'll see you guys there. Alright, let's see what we can find. Was he puppy dog? <laughs> This is kind of cool. I like this art pottery. Nine forty nine. Oh my gosh, that's one thing about this place is like <laughs> they really think very highly of their art pottery in this schedule. Um, this one's got a chip here. 849, 849. Ugh. It's chipped. <laughs> it's chipped. Let me check Oh my gosh, what is this? 2449. <laughs> He's so small, I can't even move him. I need him in my life. I could put him in my yard. I'm gonna try to pick him up. Alright, well, there you have it. Just bought myself a turtle. <laughs> it's just so great. And just gonna be like, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing some days, but I found a turtle and I'm buying it. This is kind of cute. That looks like 1940s. Old South. 149. Is that Germany? Yeah. Set of three. This one's got a chip on it though. And I like that art pottery. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty thrilled with that turtle. I'm not gonna lie. I can go home happy now, even though it's for myself. It's not for resale. It's pretty great. Very colorful, made in China. Majolica, five dollars and forty-nine cents. Made in China. Huh. Feels heavy for uh, made in China. I actually kind of like it, and I'm surprised that there's not more shipping on it. I would expect there to be damage, but really, there's um, supposed to be a little, like not like a little knob there um, to kind of hook in. That appears to be the only thing that's wrong with it. Better double check it though, because I have a habit of missing things. Five dollars and forty-nine cents. Alright, I think I'm going to buy this. We'll stick it up here though, I don't want it to be crushed by the turtle. Alright, well I'm going to browse these shelves one more time because <laughs> sometimes my first pass I, I miss stuff. So we're going to look one more time. Um, this is really nice, but it is specific to Cancun, so I usually pass those up when they're souvenir specific. 
Ooh. I hate these shelves. This looks vintage, $3.49, but it looks charred, like maybe it was too close to the stone. <laughs> I really love this art pottery, but at that price, with that chip, I just can't rationalize it. So I'm going to just not do it. She's even got a chip on her flower. This is good roll, for some reason. Every time I come here, it's like I have to be so careful. Even the turtle, actually, even the turtle has a toe chip. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to buy it. I'm buying it for myself. So I'm willing to forgive the toe chip. You guys know chips don't bother me. And that's why in the past I've been like, oh, it's chips, but I don't care. But I've tried to get a little bit more picky about picking up chipped items for resale. So, um, all right. I don't really see. This is kind of really shiny. Tarnish resistant. Alright. Well, I have moved on now to the next Goodwill. I don't actually recall my total spend there at Monocacy Boulevard. Uh, but the turtle was 25 and um, I think that pineapple teapot was like 6 So I'm probably a little bit over $30. I feel like we got some pretty awesome stuff because I'm really excited about that turtle. I can't wait to get home and plop it right down in my flower bed without crushing any of my flowers. Um, that's gonna take a permanent residence in my yard. Um, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. I feel like we did pretty well. Um, that was three Goodwills. None of them really delivered, like none of them were a home run, but combined, I'd say we did all right. I think we're gonna make some money on that stuff and I got something for myself and maybe I needed a giant turtle <laughs> maybe that was the distraction I needed today all right well it is now seven o'clock at night I just pulled into the driveway after a long day of shopping it was a long day it was five goodwills in an antique mall um, but I did get news from my mom and my brother who are at the hospital um, that dad went, came through surgery, great. Um, he is awake. And last I called, I talked to my brother that they were removing the trach. Um, I had a schedule because he did so well. Um, so that's fantastic. I was stressed about it all day. <laughs> I was stressed about it, but I was looking for a distraction. Shopping was a great distraction. Um, I feel like a weight has been lifted because honestly, it's been weighing on me for weeks since we got back from Cape May because that's when he first started feeling like that had that weight in his chest. He was getting like chest pains. And then it was like two weeks later where he finally went to the, he, he finally like called the doctor and the doctor's like, you need to go to the ER. And he went to the ER and they did the test and then he failed the test. And they're like, okay, we're gonna put a stent in. And he went to go get the stent and they did the dye or whatever. And then they're like, oh, that's not just one blockage. You have, you have at least three blockages. And that's what led to the quadruple bypass. But oh, everything is good. Everything is good. So if you guys have noticed that I've been a little distant in my recent videos, if you noticed that things were a little off, I know you guys pick up on these things. Now you know why. I just, I don't like to discuss personal stuff. I mean, so occasionally I will, but some stuff I just don't feel real comfortable with. And this has just really been weighing on me. So now that I know everything is okay, I can talk about it and everything is okay. So, um, he's not out of the woods yet, obviously, you know, he, this, he just came out of surgery, but I um, he did really well. So I'm feeling good about that. So he's got a few days in the hospital. And then um, three months, they said um, he should be able to play golf again. He's very excited about that. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. And um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. And I'll see all of you guys tomorrow. So long.